Yeah, just for a moment uh, to introduce the steering group because there, there has been this group that has worked since the last training consultation. I'll just ask these uh, folk to stand up for a moment, um, partly because as we go through this week, uh, if there are particular concerns or ideas, uh, and when we get to Saturday, we will be having a session particularly looking at where do we go from here? Uh, can we just enjoy this week, or is there some concrete things that we want to work on going forward? Who is going to take that forward? Well, from 2010 until today, um, can the following guys stand up? Russell, uh, Russell, Len, uh, Simeon, who is not with us, he's uh, from Burundi, uh, Neil, Summerton, uh, Ian Benes, myself, uh, David Clarkson, Joel, Haladis Phil Boom, who is, since Ked Daughters was with us on the committee, but then with the change there, Phil uh, has joined. And Luis, what's the channel? Where is Luis? Uh, he's, Luis is hiding away in that cupboard there, uh, doing the translation into Spanish. And Stephen McCoy, who is, uh, who is not here. So just looking around, uh, I think probably most of us will know one or other on the group here. And the idea was to have a steering group that reasonably spread around the whole world. It, it, it has its shortcomings and it's heavily UK biased and that's because as we've heard uh, some of the early, early initiative came from there. Uh, so as we go through this week uh, these are some of the guys you can talk with if you've got some issues you want to raise uh, apart from uh, David and myself too. And also to reflect on, as David has said, uh, he's definitely feeling it's time to retire from this group. And if we're going to go forward with any things, then there needs to be some reinforcement of that group and maybe some spreading around of that group. It is just brilliant this, this year to have a greater representation, for example, from India, not just picking on one country, but we noticed in previous consultations there were big gaps and some of those gaps have been filled. And so think about, as we go through this week, is this something that the Lord is laying on your heart to be more involved with this networking, okay? So I'm throwing out a few thoughts here for you to think about. Uh, I know we haven't really started, and I'm thinking about finishing uh, and what we're going to do afterwards, but if we, if we don't have some kind of uh, what are we going to do with all of this, uh, then we'll just kind of fizzle out somewhere along the way. So think about what your involvement could be. It could be on the, the website and internet development. It could be practical organization of something like this or whatever else. I trust by now you've had a look at the rationale document. Could you just grab it for a moment? It was handed out. If you don't have one, there may be a few lying on the ledge at the top there. Um, it, is a, it is an, I'll use the word, it's an evolution of a previous iteration. <laughs> it, is, it is a document that has grown and developed it is a bit wordy because it has grown and developed, and uh, if you're good at conciseness, you can join the team as well and help to reduce the paperwork. Look at the general objectives. Why are we here this week? To facilitate fellowship, network, mutual encouragement. I think one of the biggest hidden values of these consultations is the relationships we build during this week. And I want you just to reflect for a moment who is it that you really need to get to know while you are here? And maybe you've got a few names on your mind already, but to pray, who is it, Lord, that I really need to get to know this week? Because the next five years, the kind of training I'm going to be involved in, it will be in partnership with that person. Uh, some of the other aim is there to identify more precisely the training needs of our movement and uh, to think about how that can be fulfilled this week to encourage the exchange of information. Some of the workshops will tackle that. To review long, so the range of long-distance learning resources and, and just hearing what Emmaus is doing in terms of technology and others of you, I, I think, are probably even further ahead. Uh, and I trust we'll have a good opportunity on Thursday evening because the program tries to follow these uh, to think about internet technology. Look on page two, the specific outcomes for this consultation. The plenary sessions really tackle the first three. We have the scriptures, 
but we're constantly within the brethren movement have been divided not on the scriptures but on our interpretation and the application of those scriptures to particular cultural contexts and we're still subdividing on these kind of issues and in the plenary sessions to try and grapple with the gospel which is unchanging and its application to cultural contexts that keep changing how do we maintain faithfulness and relevancy? I trust you're really gearing yourself up uh, for these discussions in the plenary sessions. Uh, four, five, and six. Four is looking at the valuable lessons being learnt uh, and through the workshops. Uh, Tomorrow evening, we're going to ask five or six people to give five, ten minutes some of the highlights of training that they're developing in their countries. It's not going to be possible to allow everyone to share about their country context. I trust that you will bear with, with the, the steering group. We've made a selection. If you've got a story to tell that you really feel is crucial on a training issue, then come and see the steering group and we'll see uh, how that can be fitted in. Just for a moment there, what is it that you want to get out of this workshop? Just take 30 seconds to write a self-note. What specific thing have you come to achieve this week? What specific person or relationship are you wanting to build? Just for a moment, prayerfully there before the Lord, um, put something down that's on your heart from what has been put together here for this While you're doing that, uh, Ian is going to Dr. Ian Vaness. I keep looking around for Ian and I can't see there. There he is. Sorry, Ian is going to come and take on from me in just a moment. So please think through why we've come together, what you want to get out of it, and particularly for Saturday morning, what is it that we want to achieve when we leave here? What is the product, the outcome of this consultation? If you sadly, sadly have to leave on Friday, then you must leave some written documentation of what you think should happen beyond. So don't just slip away on Friday without contributing to the very crucial session on Saturday morning. Uh, what is it that we want to take away from here? Uh, Ian, could you come and help us to think about the context in which we serve?